Hey guys, it's Donna Lynn of Walks and Spirit LLC. I'm doing my morning routine and as you can see, no makeup or uh, hair done or anything. But I got the prompting by the Holy Spirit to talk with you today and I posted a video but I think I did it on my private site which I will go back and delete. My quick question this morning is can you pull cards for someone else? Of course you can. I do it all the time. Uh, and that's not just limited to people who do this work professionally, but we all care about and want to help our fellow men and women. Um, and we can do that. So this morning, and I'm trying to do most morning, I'm delving into an old deck to try to really learn the cards because I'm being drawn to this one. And this is the Enchanted Map by Colette Baron reed um, so I pulled a card for myself this morning, which was the Gentle Gardener, because reversed, which means in the protective position. And what this card is telling me that today there is some unforgiveness uh, on my heart that I need to look at, and I recognized that yesterday and was working hard on it, and it. I need to extend it beyond the person um, that was on my mind yesterday. And so in my journal, I wrote uh, that I forgive these people and I pray for them. And I know that they're not happy in their lives and whatever harm or ill will they had toward me um, and whatever effects they had on my life, I'm letting that go completely and some of this is really old stuff so you'll find yourself going back and this is also planting seeds and sowing the sowing seeds and reaping the rewards was also on Joyce Meyer episode that I watched this morning I'm not current uh, this one for her was payday is coming part two so if you want to check that out that was a really good episode um, so I have planted some seeds of discord, some anger, and um, unforgiveness. So I'm re I'm pulling out those weeds and I'm planting new seeds. And this is a new moon. This is a time when things that you plant will grow. Um, so that's my card. And then I felt like things were undone. And I knew that something else was, someone else was on my mind and heart. And I wanted to help them. So I pulled a card for them. This one is coming to life. Uh, this is one of my favorite cards in the deck, actually. And how you pull cards for others. So for yourself, you think of yourself, you think of your highest self, and you ask a question. For others, you think of them, bring them to mind, think of their name, think of how you want to help them, and then you pull a card. This one actually... Uh, was stuck in the lid of the box because I had already closed up my cards and decided I need to open it back. And when I opened the cards and pulled out the deck, this one was facing me so I knew that it was the right one. The, this card is that you pull for others can be a direct reflection on them, but since you are an outside third party, the cards you pull for others are how you can best help. So this card means that the divine is working to bring something new to life and they need to be patient, they need to be reverent, and they need to be filled with awe as the form of this new thing takes shapes because it's going to be life changing. So how you can of course tell them that, they may not take it uh, well or they may be ecstatic. So, um, the best way you can handle cards that you pull for others is how you can best support them. So in this instance, my best support is to encourage them to see God's hand in their life. Encourage them to be open to um, miracles, unlikely possibilities. Um, that the thing that they're dealing with may take a form that is going to knock their socks off. So, um, 
this card for me when I pull for other people is more how can I help them what can I do to be of service now if I'm pulling for professional readings this card is directly for them as a, a non professional you're dealing with what you need to know about what they're going through and this card will talk about how so I hope that answers questions can you pull a card for someone else of course um, and it will show you as a third party how you can best help them as they um, deal with the situation or the life events that they're going through right now if you've got any questions put them in the comments below and I will try to give you a few QQs as they come to mind as I'm working throughout my day. So as you know, Wednesdays have been my constant work days, even through my mini sabbatical. So I've got to finish up my morning routine and get to work. I hope you have a blessed day. Uh, let me know if you're watching these and what you think. And if you have any questions for my quick questions. And I'm going to try to do one bigger post each week, ideally on a Tuesday. Let me know what you want to hear about, and take care. Bye.